As promised, I am back with a one week update. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. As promised, I am back with a one week update in my new planner cover. If you did not watch that video of me moving into this, go ahead and watch it. It's the video before this, but yeah, so I'm back because I wanted to do an update of how I'm loving it. And then I wanted to show you my, um, my pocket deco. So for the planner itself, I'm loving it y'all. I'm loving it. It is super compact everything so i'm a one planner girl so everything that i originally had in my system um in the most theme planner is in this cover and i love it the texture is amazing so this is vegan um like the lychee vegan leather so it's beautiful it's in the color y'all i'm loving it it is super cute super compact i love how like everything kind of lines up right at the edge but I'm loving it. I don't have anything bad to say about this cover. Um, I am worried though, because I feel like at the end of the month, as it starts to chunk up, um, the clasp is going to be like, I'm scared that it's going to be pulling because it's tight now. But I don't know. So we'll see at the end of the month if she barely could close. But right now I just have um, one month in here and I have two weeks in here, I believe. Um, but other than that, there's rings are good. Like I really don't have pocket configurations, but I don't have any complaints. I'm loving it so far. Um, deco. All of this was in my, um, little pocket in my Moturn planner before. So I didn't really do too much. I did add this June card from Poi and Hun. Got a pack of these. I usually keep these in my, um, my notebook, but thought it would be cute in here little finance clear card from Norris Cove. This is a cute little thank you card from Salty 22. I have in here a little freebie from Salty 22 when I ordered my dividers from her. So that's in here. And then these are like my most reach for little freebie stickers that I really just don't want to put in my sticker book. These are new though. These are from Pretty Press. Little samplers. And then these are from Papery Planning. And sometimes after I finish my weekly spread, I'll just like add these to the top or like somewhere on the page for more deco. Paper Planner Bliss, and then some freebies from Papery Planning. And then some task cards with some page backs on there. The task cards are from um, Point Hunt. And that's it y'all super simple because am, am i like the only one that's like not really crazy about pocket deco anymore i just want something functional something that i'm like reaching for in these pockets other than that like i'm not <laughs> going to touch it and then in the back i just have my same little stickers that i keep back here and then these are some little freebies and then some post-it sticky notes back there but that is it so loving this whole setup so after I set up for a new month. I like to go back here and make sure I did not miss anything in terms of what I like to keep in my system. So let me show y'all what I like to do real quick. So this is everything that should be in my system um, as of right now. My monthly calendar, I did that. So that is up here in my schedule section. So it's like the first thing that's up here. I went ahead and added um some important dates i need to do a little bit more and then on the back i have my word of the month and then just like some reminders and like some themes for the month so i have that and then my weekly overview and my daily pages i do have that so that's in here um of course because that's how i've been planning this was last week and then 
this week is in here somewhere. So this week is here. So I have that and then I'll just continue to add more as the month go on. Extra note pages and extra paper. And that is always back here. So I just have my dot grid and my graph paper from the minimal line. Work weeklies. I do not have my work weeklies in here anymore as if um, right now I'm just using a B6 strategy for work. So we don't have to cross that off. My monthly goals. My monthly goals are in here. I went ahead and added them. And these are my yearly goals here. And then my monthly goals are here and they're color coded. So I'll just pick like two main things that I need to get done in order for me to move on to the next month and feel successful. So those are in here. Um, monthly accomplishments. So what I like to do is I like to go, I really can't show it. Uh, wait, hey, what I like to do is I like to use this quarterly overview from paper replanning. I mean, not from paper replanning, from Elamon Paper Code to write out one thing that I'm, that I'm proud of or something that I have some things that I've accomplished. So that's that. I did that for the month of May because sometimes I'll do it for like the previous month. My 30 day challenge, which is my reading log. Y'all, I'm done. I'm over that reading log. We're not filling that, <laughs> that out anymore because I can't keep up with it. So this is for May. And then this was supposed to be for June. I am not keeping up with it. Right now I'm reading three books. I should have brought them over here so I can show y'all, but I'll insert them. And I'm not keeping track of when I'm reading. I'm just making sure I read every day, but it's three books. I can't keep track of that. So we ain't gonna worry about that. Um, Productivity Planner, that's from Noted. Not using that anymore in here as of right now. So don't have to worry about that. My monthly stats, that is here. And that is just um, some little numbers, making it seem like how many YouTube videos I posted, how many... I, what I posted on Instagram, just keeping up with that for myself. So that's that. So we did that for last month. I made sure to do that for last month. Wait, what is this? Oh, I didn't cross out May. My task manager. Task manager is here. Just my little inbox section. The task manager is for my goals. So these are everything that I want to get done in relation to like my goals and like things I really, really want to get done um within the month so that's that um 31 day habit tracker that is in here she is all set up and ready to go cleaning and chore list there's back here too and i need to update it so Cleaning and chore list is here, and then my food log is here. So both of these are back here. I need to update this. And then my, um, did I update my yearly financials? So I did not because, and let me show you. I like this insert from Infinite Lotus because it sets the tone for your financial section. Um, I recently just did an update of this on May 12th. So I updated my income and I updated my expenses and my debt because I just purchased a car. So I'm, I'm saying that the car loan is now a debt that I'm trying to pay off. So usually what I'll do is I'll put my income here, my expenses for the month, my savings for the month, and my debt for the month that I paid off. Haven't done that as of right now on this page. So June should be filled out. So haven't done that yet. So we'll do that um, at the end of the month when I close out my, close out my month financially. Um, bill tracker, that is updated. That is back here for the month. So we're good with that one. Um, savings challenges. I did update my savings tracker for um, the month of May. So that's back here. This is for my high yield savings account, making sure I did that. Um, I like to check it off 
in this month. I know it's kind of confusing because I'm doing like making sure I did it for like the end of the month, but I'm checking it off like a month ahead if that makes any sense. Um, this month's bills. Yes, I have this month's bills in here. And I like to keep my bills and stuff at the front now of the month. So this month's bills in here. And then expenses for the month. Expenses for the month are in here. I am doing, so I'm doing something new. I'm doing out of budget expenses. So this is everything that I did not budget for. So if you see anything on here, I did not budget for it. It is just me seeing something and purchasing it. And then this is my check register. So this is everything that is coming out. This is basically a snapshot of my bank accounts. So that's that. So we monthly expenses are in here. And then weekly expenses. My weekly expenses are always in front of my weekly because... It just makes sense to me. So there, it's here. I need to update um, update today and then set up for next month, set up for next week. Monthly overview. Monthly overview is back here. I just recently switched over to a month on two pages for finances. So that is back here. I'm loving this view. Um, So this is from Infinite Lotus. And then let's talk through like, the stickers and like the icons. So this little icon here with the little dollar sign is for bills that are due. So I have my paydays here with the dollar sign. I have a little calculator here that is telling me to budget my paycheck. And then I have a little receipt here that is telling me to scan my receipts into fetch so that I can um, finally get a daggone gift card because I keep letting those um, points expire. So I do a mini budget and I scan my, my receipts on Friday. So essentially I'm budgeting each week. The credit cards are just like anything after pay. Like I don't have any credit cards, but if any, if I do like some, like an after pay or something like that, that's what that means. Tides come out on Sundays. And then the little piggy bank is my high yield savings money getting deposited. Um, and I think that is it. And then, oh, end of the month, this little checklist, make sure this indicates that I set up my monthly overview for them next month by the 25th so that is set up and then financial to do's financial to do's are basically financial goals and i do have my goals for the month this little key here is um these tombos that i'm using i'm using Let's see, I'm using N75 for anything that is on budget. I am using 192 for anything that is under budget, and I'm using 977 for anything that is over budget. So I've been loving that. Um, and let's see, let me show you how I was using it. I did a little mini budget last week. <laughs> So this is like, this is the Minimal Line Weekly Overview from Norris Clove. So this is Norris Clove Minimal Line, like her little, she has a minimal line of inserts um, on her shop. And this is the weekly check-in. So the weeks that I do not get paid, let me make this make sense. So like this week was a pay week. I use my paycheck budgeter insert and I'll do like my cash envelope breakdown. But the weeks that I don't get paid, but I still need to budget from my spending account, I will use these because they're just much easier and over budget, under budget. That's how I use it. I absolutely love it. So yeah, y'all, that is it. So I have everything in my system that I need for the month. Um, oh, the pen loop situation. Okay, don't have a pen loop, which has just made me rely heavier on my pencil case. This is a Euroluco pencil case. I reach for her because I have like all everything that I'm using in here, but now like I can't just like leave her home. Like these two, they go together real bad because I don't have a pen loop, but it hasn't been like, it's whatever. Like it is what it is. I'm just reaching for these more. I just can't leave her. Okay. So that is that. That is it. I 
we'll see y'all in the next one. I don't know when next week's video is going to be about, but we'll see. I'll see y'all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!